What's going on, you guys? So today we have the comparison video for the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra versus the Nubia Z60 Ultra, okay? And this is an interesting comparison because the, the, the numbers don't necessarily tell the whole story uh, on, on this one, all right? So I had a couple of comments, actually from, there's only a couple of comments. There's only a couple of people watching these videos. User M Chris, my man M Chris, left a couple of comments asking about the comparison for this. So when we get to the camera portion, I'll throw a couple extra picks up for you, man, so you can take a look. Um, but but this is, this is let's, let's take a look at these two phones because this, as the more I use them, uh, the more interesting it got. The, the, as I flew into the feel of these phones, as I used them on, both as my daily drivers, uh, I used both of these and walked out of the house with both of them. Um, every day. Um, it was interesting using both of them. So let's get into it. So here's, we're going to do the unboxing experience. Okay. So the price, first and foremost, uh, the price difference on these phones, 779 for 16 gig, 512, 1419 for 12 gig, 512. Okay. Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is 1419 out the door. Now this is without any trade-ins or anything like that. Uh, 1419 for 12 gig, 512. And the Nubia Z60 Ultra, 779 for 16 gig, 512, okay? So that's a starting point for you guys that's right off of their websites, all right? So let's go. You get your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra in for $1419, $1,419. You open it up. All right, you've got your phone right there. It actually does look beautiful. I do like that it takes up the entire thing. I, I will say that does look beautiful. All right, you're gonna have a little SIM card. I, I already took this out, obviously. You're gonna have a SIM card ejection tool um, and they're gonna give you a cable, a charging cable in the box. Pop out the phone and there's your phone. All right, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra unboxing. And then you get your I don't know if you guys hear this. This is like an air raid going on or something outside. There's planes flying by, there's dogs barking, there's like homeward bound. And then you get the Nubia Z60 Ultra, all right? 779, Samsung, Nubia. Compare the thickness. Okay, phone right there. Obviously it won't be turned on when you get it, all right? Right here, plastic piece, pop this out. Got the books. You got a little case right here in the box for your phone, for your new phone. Nothing special. Uh, I said in my review of this, video, uh, of this phone, uh, in my long review, I said that I didn't really like the case upon opening it. As I got used to it, it's okay. It doesn't really, it, it's a nice to have. It's nice that they give it to you free in the box. Um, but it, you know, it's not really the most stylish thing. It's a super simple thing. So, but you do get the case in the box. You get two more boxes here. You get the cable, charge cable. and you get the charger, all right? Travel charger, power supply. I'm trying to see what the wattage is, how many watts it is. I can't see it, I'll have to tell you guys. So you get the charger in the box, all right? Right there. So that's the unboxing experience, obviously for half the price. Uh, uh, this, you get a much nicer unboxing experience with the Nubia, uh, uh, Z60 ultra. Uh, so let's go ahead and get through the phones. Okay. Let's start. Obviously I've been using, like I said, both of these phones, I've had my SIM cards and I, I just took my SIM card out of this one, um, for this Huawei, uh, Z or Huawei mate 60 pro, which you guys will need to check the video out on that once that hits. Um, so let's go ahead and go through it. Okay. Let's start with the, uh, with the display. Okay. 6.8, 6.8, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, 6.8, Nubia Z60 Ultra, 6.8. Uh, 
inch display. Now, the Galaxy S24 Ultra feels a little bit bigger. And for me personally, uh, I like both of these phones. This is gonna be a preference kind of thing, but for me, I like when it's a big square. I like the sharp edges. I don't like the rounded corners um, that phones have. I don't like the soft look. I like more of the hard, sharp edges. And what I like about this Nubia Z60 is I feel like it's thick and they, they you know, they're not, it's not necessarily like it's that much thicker than one than the other, uh, but I, it feels more kind of square and cut off and sharp. Uh, and I really like that. I really like the feel of this. And the Galaxy S24 Ultra, uh, I, I really like how, how large it feels in your hand and how uh, business and professional it feels almost. And what I do is I make my, uh, I make my display size uh, in the settings, I make my display size smaller um so that uh everything kind of looks the, it, it, it's one more thing that makes the phone look bigger you see here i have standard uh standard size on the nubia z60 ultra and then here i have uh on my galaxy s24 ultra i have it slightly shrunk down so it looks like more fits on the screen but both of these phones feel really good in the hand uh the build is really good quality on both of these i personally it, it's a personal preference and it depends on what you guys like because i like the sharp corners and because i like the boxy square uh, uh look Looking phones. Both of these work just fine for me and I love both of them. Okay. Uh, the Nubia has 1500 nits uh, peak brightness and the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra has 2600 nits of peak brightness. Now, of course, that's going to be a fairly large difference, but in practical use, I honestly didn't notice that much of a difference. Both of these screens are going to be vivid, bright, Super nice, you guys, super nice. Um, so the Nubia has an AMOLED display and the S24 Ultra has a dynamic AMOLED display. So on the display wars, I would have to give it to the S24 Ultra just because of the uh, the bigger brightness um, or more brightness. Um, but overall, on a day-to-day -day use, unless you have both these phones in front of you, you're not gonna notice a difference. And this is gonna be a recurring theme throughout the video um, because the Samsung Galaxy S24 is gonna win a lot of the categories. But if you don't have these phones next to each other um you know the nubia you're probably not even going to notice a lot of these differences okay so biometrics next the s24 ultra has a better fingerprint but the nubia has a better face unlock so let me actually so we're getting a fair comparison let's set these wallpapers so they're the same Okay, there we go. Now we're kind of the same. So the biometrics are even. The S24 has a better uh, fingerprint unlock. Get right in. The Nubia, the fingerprint unlock gave me a little bit of trouble. Uh, as you guys can see here, you got to hold it on there a little bit longer. Uh, they both work on the day-to-day, -day, but look, when they're both off, See that? So when they're both off. So the S24 gets you in a little bit faster um, on the fingerprint, but the face unlock is quicker on the, ga on, the, on the Nubia. The face unlock is super nice on this Nubia. And honestly, I'm kind of disappointed for the price in the S24 Ultra uh, face unlock. It actually falters a lot more than you would think for an ultra flagship phone, for the top of the line phone. Um, I'm actually disappointed. And I end up using my fingerprint uh, the most, uh, but the fingerprint on the S24 Ultra is super good. Um, but the face unlock is, is, is not the best. So, uh, so the Nubia wins the face unlock, um, but the S24 Ultra wins the fingerprint, and then you have your regular pin and all that. Um, so they're even on the biometrics, okay? For battery, let's get into battery. The S24 Ultra has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and the Nubia Z60 Ultra has a 6,000 milliamp hour battery. Now, I run both of my phones. I run all my phones pretty hard. I try to set the max settings on everything. And this Nubia battery is a killer, and the Samsung battery is a killer. I would have to give the, um, the battery. So here's the deal. I'd have to give the main battery to the Nubia Z60 Ultra. I think it's a, uh, uh, I think uh, the battery lasts longer on a day-to-day -day basis with this phone. 
Both will get you in a, it, it, both will get you through the day, but in a straight comparison, the Z60 Ultra lasts longer. I can't kill this thing. I walk out with it and I cannot kill this phone. Now, this, the S24 Ultra will also probably last you a full day, but as you start to run more things on it, like live wallpapers um, and whatnot, it's going to start draining a little bit faster. Um, now, here's where it breaks apart. There's no wireless charging on the Z60 Ultra. There is wireless charging on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So for that reason and that reason alone, for me, it doesn't matter. I don't really use it. But for that reason alone, I got to give the battery to the Galaxy S24 Ultra because for I know for a lot of people that is going to matter and the reverse wireless charging too. So this one has, uh, as you guys can see, the S24 Ultra has uh, reverse wireless charging, wireless power share, and this uh, does not have wireless charging. So that is kind of a detriment. So I gotta give the battery to the S24 Ultra. The sound. The sound on these phones are, again, if you're using these phones uh, individually, independent of one another, you may not notice the difference, but the S24 Ultra wins in the sound department, uh, point blank. Uh, the Nubia sounds a little bit more muffled. Let's go in and try and listen to a song here. So let's try it let's try listening here to a song so this is we'll listen to the same song this is going to be the galaxy s24 ultra full loud full loud nubia Full loud on the S24 Ultra. Full loud on the Nubia Z60. So to me, in my opinion, I don't know if you guys can hear this over the microphone, but in my opinion, the Z60 Ultra sounds a little more muffled. And also while we're here, notice uh, the different colors and how the colors get represented in, 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 the, in the display. This is interesting for me to watch. And obviously this ends up being preference, but it's interesting to see both of these here together. Um, and obviously you can see the brightness is on and I wanna make sure I don't have my, uh, uh, I don't have any kind of eye comfort on, on either of them. Let's see here. Dark mode, record game space. Okay, yeah, color crack. So we're good here. So so for me, the sound personally, uh, uh, I like the sound more on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Let's go through it again real quick. Okay, so so in my opinion now, when you have the headphones in, uh, I had no problems with either of these phones. Both of these phones, if you got to walk across the gym or go jog across somewhere, uh, are gonna keep keep it keep it keep it pushing. Okay, so you're gonna be fine with both of these phones. I noticed uh, I didn't really notice a difference. I did notice that the Nubia Z60 Ultra was a little bit quieter, and this is you know my my scientific test is if you have to keep pushing the volume up when you're listening to a song in the gym or when you're running, if you keep trying to max out the volume, um, that's a problem. So on this phone, I usually don't max out the volume, or if I do, I'm happy with it on the S24 Ultra and on the Nubia Z60 Ultra uh, it's a little bit quieter so the sound definitely goes to the Galaxy S24 Ultra um, uh, for the comparison okay next is the camera the camera there okay the S24 Ultra has a 200 uh, 200 megapixel wide camera 10 megapixel telephoto 50 megapixel periscope telephoto and a 12 megapixel ultra wide okay and the end uh, the Nubia Z60 Ultra has a 50 megapixel standard 64 megapixel periscope telephoto 50 megapixel ultra wide all right so there i'll throw up some pictures and again m chris my boy m chris the user asked about uh, the camera i'll throw up a couple of extra pictures for you man so you can check it out uh the camera bottom line on the on the s24 ultra blows the nubia out of the water uh i'm sorry but that's that's just the way it is. When you get to the selfie cam, the selfie cam has a, has a the, the S24 Ultra has a 12 megapixel uh, selfie cam and the Nubia Z60 Ultra has a 12 megapixel under display selfie cam. Uh, you guys, I don't know if you've ever woken up uh, and you guys are like in a, in a 
to intergalactic time warp all of a sudden um, to where nothing is what it seems and everything's blowing past you at uh, at high high speed of speed of light speeds but that's what it looks like when you take a picture with the Nubia Z60 Ultra uh, camera there is is like flares and shadows I don't know what it's doing I was not impressed at all with the cameras for the Nubia Z60 Ultra that is my opinion I know a lot of these things are subjective I know this phone is about half the price of this and that is that does need to be clarified and I also know that the numbers when you read out the specs kind of line up here and there uh, with both of these phones but it's hard to even compare the s24 ultra blows this uh the, this this comparison out of the argument over the nubia z60 ultra now if this doesn't matter to you as much if you're not so much of a camera power user if you don't take a lot of pictures if you don't take a lot of video it's not going to matter as much to you um, and you're probably going to be more concerned with the pricing but if you care about the camera i would not get this nubia z60 ultra for the camera i I, I just, I wouldn't, okay? Um, no comparison there. Okay, so on the day-to-day, -day, um, a little bit to talk about here is kind of the fun factor, okay? So first and foremost, the simplest thing, the S, oh. Guys, remember this? Hot, hot. So the day-to-day, -day, uh, the fun factor, the S24 has a lot more colors. You have the titanium black, the titanium gray, the titanium violet, the titanium yellow, blue, green, and orange. And the N uh, Nubia Z60 Ultra has the black, the silver, and then there's a special edition, the Van Gogh Starry Night Special Edition phone. Um, so a lot, you get a lot more choices as far as your uh, colors on the S24 Ultra. Uh, the S24 Ultra, you also get a pen, all right? So you get a pen uh, with the that's embedded in the phone, and you guys already know this from the Note days. So if you like the pen, you're going to use it. If not, you're probably not going to matter for you. Uh, the 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 One UI on the S24 Ultra is a little bit more customizable. So you know when you go through it a little bit, this is kind of where the the it's going to matter what you want uh, out of a phone. All right, and let's talk about this for a little bit. So. If you guys want a bare bones phone that's just going to do what it needs to do, it's going to do the basics and it's going to do them well, this is going to be a fantastic phone for you. Now, this phone is a little bit more fun, right? It's got a little bit more options. So in the settings, and if you watch my longer uh, review of the Nubia where I go through all the settings and all that, um, you guys know it's all basic. Uh, it's all basic bitch settings. Uh, on this phone, let's say you have the pen. Damn, I keep hitting play. Right there. That's with the pen right there. Let me pause that real quick. You got the pen, right? And in your settings there, if you go in, you got fun things like uh, the Samsung theme store you can connect to. All right. And you've got labs, advanced features. You've got advanced intelligence features here. Phone, uh, real-time translation. Change the tone of your writing, Samsung keyboard. You've got the interpreter. You've got your Samsung notes. All these new AI features, photo editing features, right? You've got the labs, right? Where you can do multi-window, right? So, You've got all these things. You've got good lock that you can download for cool stuff. You've got good lock and this gives you a lot more options on your on your Samsung Galaxy, right? A lot more features. On this, you don't really have so much. Pretty much what you get is what you get. So if you go into the, like the settings here and you go theme and personalization. Oops, I don't like that. Uh, and you know, you have your Android. Now, this is pretty much one of the things, if you guys like stock Android, this Nubia was almost the most stock Android phone that I've had in recent times, which was super good if you like the stock Google phones. And everything was, I think it was using, uh, it was using photos for its main gallery. But if you go into the themes here, you have Nubia Classic, right? And you have a few here to choose from. And then you have your Android themes, but you don't really have a lot more. Uh, you have your ZTE locker and you can update your wallpapers and set different ones every day and have it auto update. But you don't really have a lot of different, um, uh, you know, choices. Like when you go into always on display, what you see is what you get. With this phone, what you see is what you get. What you have is what you have. And here, you know, you have lock star, which you can create uh, different, uh, different wallpapers for your uh, lock screen here. You can go in and wallpaper and style, and you guys can see here, here's my lock screen. Here's my clock settings, and I have mine that I've had here. You know, there's my clock face I've designed with Chelsea all over them and whatnot. And you can set all kinds of different ones, and there's different options, different things for you. And this is very, um, you know, bare bones, stripped down Google and Android. It's going to work, and it's going to do it very well, but you're not going to have a lot of the bells and whistles, right? Which ends up being kind of the theme of the review and the theme of the comparison, okay? 
So on your on your work aspect, you're going to have no problem with either of these phones getting work done, sending emails, um, um, banging out you know Excel spreadsheets. The screens are both the same size. The screens are both crisp, nice, and, and vivid, and uh, y you know so there's there's going to be no issues as far as uh, they both run uh, uh, Snapdragon 8 Generation 3. This phone I was surprised for the price of how well it actually runs and no lag. This phone is fantastic to use. It's fun to use. Um, it's 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 nice to speed through. I, I speed through all my messages, all my stuff. Um, you know. You can get get to Instagram here. Uh, everything loads up quick. You can scroll through right here. Let's go see what Chelsea's doing. Chelsea's got an open house today, right? So you guys can scroll through super quick. Everything, you know, everything works. Reddit, just like the S24 Ultra, everything works. Where you get to a discrepancy is the pricing, right? Because for for the for the pricing, the S24 Ultra, everything should work fantastic, right? You go, for, I paid almost fifteen hundred dollars to this phone. I expect everything to work great. And for this phone, you go, okay, I'm paying half the price of a flagship phone, so I wonder what I'm going to get. And what you get is a pleasant surprise. And that's so funny and it's so interesting. You know, it's like when you go to a steakhouse and the steak is seventy five, eighty dollars for a plate of steak a la carte. They bring it to you on that plate that with nothing else on it. I hate that. There's no plating. There's no creativity and it's 75 bucks, I go, this better be the best steak I ever tried, right? But when you go to a Texas Roadhouse or a Longhorn or something and you pay 20 bucks for the steak and you go, all right, this could be middle of the road and it comes out okay, you're going to be like, wow, all right, cool. I can, I can, I like this place, right? And it's going to give you a better impression of the place. And it's so interesting how perception works like that with consumer products. Because for me, laying both of these phones in front of me, I'm almost more impressed with the Nubia because it's doing all of this. Uh, it's doing everything it needs to do and it's doing it well and quick with no delay, uh, running all the apps you need to run for half the price of this phone. My expectations are much higher with the S24 Ultra. Okay, so for the work aspect, pen, you've got the pen if you're into that sort of thing and all the options that come with it, right? So you've got screen right here, take a picture and just mark it up. Screen right, you've got notes, you've got all the, the features. Obviously, I did the, uh, I've done individual reviews on both of these phones. So if you guys want a more in-depth in view, uh, you guys can go check those out. But you've got the pen on this. Uh, so, so if you like working with that, I personally do. I like to text with it, I type with it. Um, I love you very, I like to do all of this with it. I like to scroll with it. Um, I, I like using the pen. So for me, I do use it. I actually do use it. I know a lot of guys are, oh, nobody uses the pen. If you don't use it, it's not for you. Uh, this phone obviously does not have that. But if you guys watch my Wish video, I have a stylus that you can get for a dollar. It's probably under a dollar now that you can recreate this feeling on the Nubia, okay? So the key differences on these phones are no wireless charging on the Nubia Z60 Ultra. Camera may be the biggest difference. The selfie camera on this Nubia Z60 Ultra is throwaway. I want to ball it up and toss it as far as I can over a large, large building. Okay, and the rear camera also is is more. Um, um, it, it's just better on the S24 Ultra. Now, I actually don't prefer the S24 Ultra camera. I get more. I like the camera more on some of these Chinese phones, like the Xiaomi, the Vivo. Um, <clears throat> Because uh, this, this, the camera, in my opinion, on the S24 Ultra makes you look a little realistic. Um, and again, I'll throw up the comparisons. But this, this camera on the Nubia is washed out uh, from both ends, the front and the back. It's washed out. It's not as good, period. as the. Uh, so the camera might be the biggest difference. The pen, the stylus, is one key difference uh, for these phones. So obviously, the S24 Ultra has the stylus embedded. It comes with the phone. Uh, it, it goes inside of the phone for storage, easy, simple. And the Nubia Z60 Ultra doesn't. Uh, the fun factor, in my opinion, is a big difference, key difference on this phone. Again, this is pretty much stock Google. It's going to run what it runs. You're going to be able to download all the apps from the Play Store. Um, there's Chelsea coming in. You see my notifications are coming in perfect. Um, you're going to get, uh, but and again, let's sidebar real quick. The compatibility in the U.S. on both of these phones, you're not going to worry about it. In fact, this is, again, I keep saying this, but this Nubia Z60 Ultra is so surprising because they don't market it or advertise it much here in the U.S. But once I plug my SIM card in, everything's set up perfectly. And this phone ran stock Google with no bloatware, nothing. I, I, I loved it, you guys. I, I, I felt no issues with it. I felt secure. I could leave this at home and take this. I could leave this at home and take that. Um, so... So, but, but the fun factor, this is a little more customizable. Um, 
Then this phone, this is more bare bones, like I said. Uh, this you can do a lot, not a lot more with, but it's more fun. It's got the new AI features if you value that. You know, I think it's got these uh, features where you can um, circle the search or whatever now. You can do all these. Let's see if I can. Anyway, um, so it's got some of the AI features and the live translation. So it's got more in that department. So a little bit more customizability to where this is more of just a workhorse. I would, that's how I would classify this as more of a workhorse. You get more colors, you get more choices on these S24 Ultras, but you get the Starry Night phone, which is super, um, super nice on, on the Nubia. Um, and for me personally, and this could totally be a personal preference, you guys may not feel this way, but somehow, some way, uh, the Nubia still feels a little more detached from a customer service perspective. For example, you know, with Samsung, I've had phones where I've had to use the warranty and I've had to turn them back in and I've had to contact Samsung customer service. And from my opinion, here in the US, you just have, they're more suited, and I'm not saying their customer service is good, but I'm saying it's more uh, accessible for us here in the US. Now, I've never had to deal with Nubia customer service, thankfully. So this not this may not be a fair comparison, but this is just kind of my opinion. You know, when you buy this, and especially like this is the Huawei, which you guys will see a video on this. But when you buy phones like this, I feel like I'm kind of dead in the water. If something goes wrong, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters, Xi Jinping? Hey Xi, my phone's messed up. Can you help me? No. But for Samsung, you can at least go on there. You can chat with them. You know, if I buy my phones off the Samsung website, there's more support there for me uh, here in the US. And that's my personal preference. That's my personal feeling. You guys may not agree, but a lot of times I know when I buy a Xiaomi phone, if something goes wrong, I may be able to return it to the company I purchased it from. But these guys are dealers. They're not, you know, working with the carriers or whatever here in the U.S. So you're going to have more carrier options here. You can get the S24 Ultra through your carrier, Verizon, T-Mobile. The Nubia is not going to be so readily available. Um, so that's my feeling on that. So let's go overall. All right. So overall, in almost every category, the S it is so interesting. The S24 Ultra is a better phone in almost every category. But when you look at the price, again, $779, no shipping. I put a $10 off code in. I paid $769 for this phone, Nubia Z60 Ultra. Out the door, no shipping cost, shipped to me. And for this phone, I ended up paying $780, but I also gave them my Z Flip 5, right? So I did a trade-in and I paid another $780. So I paid 20 bucks more for this phone than I did with this one. And I had to give them my Z Flip 5, which was still a pretty new phone. You guys could still be using that, right? So. Um, it's very interesting because the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is better in almost every department, but once you factor in the fact that you can get almost two of these Nubia Z60 Ultras, and for how it runs, it runs uh, Android perfectly, no problems, no lag, everything's quick, everything's fast, uh, everything's you know looks great, uh, everything runs fantastic on Google, uh, it, it, it brings this to a much more manageable level. So what I would say for the bottom line is, if you guys are a baller, if you guys need the baddest, of the, the baddest of the baddest, I would obviously drop the coin and get the S24 Ultra. There's some, some of us people that are gonna be getting the top of the line phones anyway every year. Uh, us phone guys are gonna be probably switching and upgrading all the time. If you're a person who just wants a phone that's gonna work, and the caveat here is you don't care so much about the cameras because this was not making us look good, okay? This camera, this Nubia was not making us look good. I was leaving this at home. I was leaving this at this, at this at phone at the hotel when we were traveling uh, because I wasn't gonna use these cameras. Um, so, so the bottom line is if you just want a phone that's gonna function on a flagship level, without maybe the flagship cameras that aren't so important to you uh, and without all the bells and whistles like good lock and Samsung themes and different, you know, customization and all that. And again, you still get Play Store and all that. Um, but if you want a more of a bare bones experience and more of the absolute top of the line stuff doesn't matter as much to you, this is a Nubia Z60 Ultra is a fantastic value for the price. I would absolutely have no regrets getting this phone and using it. Um, and probably being able to use it for the next couple of years safely if you just want something that works. Uh, I absolutely love this phone. So the bottom line is this, this is the bad mamma jamma. The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is gonna be the one of the best phones out period right now. This is this N Nubia Z60 Ultra is a sleeper. If you guys don't care so much about the bells and whistles, grab the Z60 Ultra. If you guys want the baddest of the baddest, the top of the pop, sitting on top of the pile, um, obviously this S24 
24 Ultra is gonna be for you. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we're gonna be back with more videos on the channel. I really appreciate you guys uh, uh, tuning into the channel and watching these. Uh, later, guys.